Hello and welcome to the Daily Force Report for August 19th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair moved to the upside during this last session on Friday. Closed higher. We actually had one, two, three, four, five. All sessions last week moved higher. Uh, the probability of it continuing is low, especially when you consider that if we back out a little ways, we have run into areas of previous, uh, kind of in the middle, I guess we could move on up to this point, but we should see some sideways action start just as we did in this area, uh, or a reversal and a move down lower, uh, which is what I'm looking for. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now, as far as where the market is, I am looking for it to go up to 79.83 possibly, possibly down to 78.91. Look for some resistance to the upside around 79.75 and look for some support around 79.25. Uh, the bias is to the upside currently and moving up to the upside. Now looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair closed down on Friday, pretty much went sideways all last week. However, the long term trend uh, is still up. The very long term trend is still down. We are looking forward to potentially go as high as 124.29, possibly as low as 122.23. Look for some resistance around 123.87 and look for some support at 122.61. Now the pound US dollar pair. This pair uh, moved lower on Friday's action, did create an inside bar, closed lower. Overall, still consolidating down. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 157.87, possibly as low as 156.16. Look for some resistance around 157.45, and look for some support around 156.50. Now let's take a look at the Swiss. Uh, Swiss gap down about 15 pips. Pretty much retraced that already. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 0.9819, possibly as low as 0.9661. Look for some resistance around 0.9795 and look for some support around 0.9695. Now this pair overall um, past couple of weeks has had a down, uh, moving to the downside. Long-term trend is still uh, to the upside. Now, as far as news announcements go, we do have one significant news announcement being released at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the Reserve Bank Board of Australia releasing their August minutes. No consensus on that as the numbers have already been released. Uh, Tuesday, nothing there, and uh, not until Wednesday, it looks like. So kind of a light week going at least the first couple of days of news. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, let's talk about the, the uh, U.S.-Japanese yen pair. I think if we get a reversal, let me drop down to this is a four hour. Let me go ahead and drop some lines on the chart here just to uh, get an idea when we are looking at them. I think we potentially could have a windows trade. Not sure if it's going to trigger during this next session or not. But uh, nonetheless, definitely something to look at. We have an area here that I've identified using the day time frame, potential window of opportunity. You can see when we broke, let me zoom in a little more. When we broke to the upside during that uh, time frame, we went through it within four hours, uh, very quickly, actually less than four hours, uh, very, very quickly. So I'm looking for it to do the same. Uh, except reverse, move through it to the downside. Uh, another play that uh, would probably be a little bit sooner as far as hitting would be to look for this trend line that's developed to the upside to be broken. Uh, it's getting close to that. We've had uh, one, two, three, four, five points where it's hit the market or the market action has hit it rather. So looking for it to move lower, break and close below that on the hour time frame, and then look for it to come on down uh, to this 79.21 mark where we have previous areas of support at that level. Uh, currently that would be roughly about 26 pips. 
uh, on that move. Now, if you wait until we get down to this point, that's about a 17 pip move for our windows trade. Uh, it's not quite going through a zero zero level, getting close, but not quite to it. So uh, there's the two different options to trading the U.S. Japanese yen over the next session. Uh, look for a break of this trend line and look for it to come on down to this level. Uh, definitely move stop losses at that point and see if it'll come on down to here. Let's take a look at the uh, Euro USD on the sh shorter time frame as well. You can see it's kind of been all over the place uh, as far as the sideways action. Uh, remember that overall moving to the upside, if you catch something like this where you have essentially a trend line that's developed that's been hit by price three times, a close above it, you can catch some uh, some some very good pips there. Um, had you waited till the close even, you're looking at a to the high, about a 48 pip move. Um, you know, obviously a break above it, a close above it would be a clear signal, if, um, but if you got in a little earlier, it could have been a lot, lot more uh, as far as the pips go there. All right, well, that uh, pretty much wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.